All right, welcome to the final unit of your AMP lab. We're going to be looking at the autonomic system next. All right, the next few slides are definitely a review of what you should have been doing in your lecture course, looking at the differences between the autonomic and the somatic nervous systems. So what you need to know is how the presynaptic neuron interacts with the rest of the organs, okay? So here we have the somatic nervous system, and you can see the multipolar neuron, it's myelinated, and it's gonna release neurotransmitter at the effector, effector organ, and it's stimulatory, okay? Looking at the other pictures, what I want you to take away from them is the difference between the sympathetic versus the parasympathetic, okay? Sympathetic has a short presynaptic neuron, it releases acetylcholine at the first synaptic junction, and then it has a longer postsynaptic neuron, which is going to go to the effector organ, but it's going to release norepinephrine, and depending on what organ it is, it can either be excitatory or inhibitory. Parasympathetic is going to have a very long presynaptic neuron. It also releases acetylcholine at the uh, first junction, and then it has a shorter postsynaptic neuron where it releases acetylcholine, okay? Also, you've got your origins, so that the sympathetic originates in the thoracal lumbar region of your spinal cord, whereas parasympathetic originates in the cranial sacral. Those are the highlights, so presynaptic versus postsynaptic length. What neurotransmitter do they secrete at the first spot? What do they secrete at the second spot? Okay, and then the origin, and whether it's the thoracal lumbar spinal cord versus cranial or sacral um, section of the spinal cord. All right, next slide. All right, this is your basic note slide, okay? If you can do all of this, you've got what you need for a lab and you don't need to worry about anything else. One thing, so structures that you need to be able to identify on a spinal cord model, you should be able to find the Ramey communicantes and the paravertebral ganglionic chain, and we'll look at those in a second. You should also be able, if depending on the model, to be able to see the prevertebral gang, uh, ganglia and so forth. Uh, also, always remember what neurotransmitters are being secreted at each place. All right, pretty much every textbook out there has a variation on this slide and the next slide, these figures, where you're going to be looking at your spinal cord here, and you'll notice that I've put a circle around the thoracal lumbar region showing you where the origins of the cell bodies for the preganglionic axons are. And then you see the axons come out. Now, this structure is actually anterior um, to the aorta, okay? So technically, this would be over in front of that because it's a spinal cord, the bodies of the vertebra, and then the aorta, and then the, the, the mess, okay? And actually, I'm sorry, I, I misspoke a little bit here. The paravertebral is running along either side right here, okay? Whereas the prevertebral would be right in front of the aorta, which you can see over here if we've got the prevertebral highlighted, and this is the aorta, and you can see that the prevertebral is right in front of it. And then the paravertebral would be running down along either side, okay? Now, these prevertebral ganglionic chains, they come in and they can synapse in different places, so they can go right through, they can go through, go up, and then synapse, or they can go through, pass all the way through, and um, or like here, pass all the way through, and then synapse at the prevertebral ganglionic chain. So they've got different pathways they can take. What do you need to know? Sympathetic is your stress response. It's dilute, it spreads all throughout the body. Some things that it does right over here, okay? The one thing you just never wanna forget is its effect on the heart, because we'll be talking about that in AMP2 and patho. All right, now we're gonna look at the models. And so first, if we come over here to the right and you look over here, you can see in red the aorta, you can see a little bit of the inferior vena cava, which would be coming up alongside that. And then this structure is the ligaments surrounding the bodies of your vertebrae. So what you can see is all this yellow mess is the prevertebral ganglionic chain. Every place where you've got a swelling here, here, there, that's a ganglia, okay? 
Now let's come over and look at this model over here. And what you should notice is you've got your spinal cord right here, okay? And that's obviously been cut off. So then you see the spinal nerves coming out, okay? Now here, I've got ganglia, and then I've got the yellow. Let's actually change the color to yellow, yellow, and then all of down here is yellow. And then I've got little swellings, which are ganglionic areas. And there's a little one here, a little one there, one there. Okay, that is your paravertebral ganglionic chain. Gang chain, okay? So you should be able to recognize those two. So we've got one model where you can see a structure. Know the ganglia, know that this is the paravertebral ganglionic chain. All right, like the note slide for the sympathetic, we have the same thing for parasympathetic, so location of your preganglionic cell bodies is craniosacral, okay? You've got these cranial nerves that are associated with the parasympathetic innervation, you should know that. The preganglionic axon is super long, ganglion is near the target organ, and then the postganglionic axon is short. And remember, memorize your neurotransmitter. All right. Now here's your parasympathetic, and you can see right there I'm showing the origin of the preganglionic cell bodies, and then right here we're seeing the origin for preganglionic cell bodies, so cranial sacral. Then what you have is you've got a long axon, okay? Now these look shorter because it's near your head, but they're really long. So here you can look at this one and it comes all the way out and then it's gonna go to the lung. Right there is where you have your ganglia, where it synapse, and that is the postganglionic axon. These are the things that I want you to know, okay? Basically, your parasympathetic is your normal functioning, chill, like everything is going okay, um, hormone for the body. Try to remember these, but don't forget that it reduces your heart rate. That is critical to remember for AMP and patho. All right, so that is the end of the autonomic nervous system. So very brief in your AMP lab. You should do more of this in lecture. The next one we will look at, um, I believe, is the eye, and then we'll move on to the ear.